All right. Racket number two. This Housing squirrel. wealth gains a record 1.2 trillion, but there are signs trillion. the market is cooling. All right. Mm-hmm. Let's break this down a little bit. CNBC article, the collective amount of money mortgage holders could pull out of their homes mm-hmm. while retaining 20% equity. Still maintaining need... 20%. Yeah. So maintaining Huge. 20% plus the higher right. mortgage interest yep. rate. Okay. Equity rose by an unprecedented 1.2 trillion in just the first quarter this year, according to Black Knight, a mortgage software and analytics firm. In total, the nation's so-called tappable equity stood at $11 trillion. That's 2x the peak in 2006 when everybody was taking money out of their homes, buying everybody. boats and cars and putting decks in well, the kitchens. And, but what's um, interesting, though, is they were maxing themselves out. I mean, this is saying yeah. that you would still have 20% equity right. after pulling that cash out. Yeah. And it's $11 trillion, which is 2x the two, 2006. That boils down to an average of $207,000 of tappable equity Do it again. per homeowner. Mm-hmm. $207,000 tappable equity like per that. homeowner. If you have a home right now, yes. if you're a real estate professional, you own a home, or you're working with clients that own a home, they all, on average, have $200,000 of equity plus in their home. This is why homeowners have so much more wealth than renters. Right. And renters, until they become a homeowner, are never going to catch up. And why it's really hard to get a contractor right now. This is a number that if you're an agent, Mm -hmm. you want that number to be out there with every renter in your market. Listen, the average homeowner has $207,000 of equity. You're never going to have that kind of savings until you start buying homes. I would use these stats to your advantage in your marketing, all right? Ooh, this could have been the marketeer. Look at you. This could have been the marketeer for sure, but mm-hmm. we, we've got something pretty fun for the marketeer in just You're a excited. second. You're excited. Right? So here, here's what I will say. The market is cooling, and, and they talk about some of the signs in this article. Right. Um, it's it's showing slight signs of cooling. Home cool. prices uh, were obviously up 20% over the year. We know that. Uh, but the slowed growth is an early indication of these rising interest rates. We know the story, right? Listen, what I think is going to happen with with this equity, though, yeah. to be frank, everybody's like, "Well, prices aren't going to aren't going to really go down." Okay, mm, there's not, I don't think there'll be a cliff, but eventually we're, we're going to see a stopping point here. Of course, people are forgetting that the more these rates continue to increase, mm-hmm. and bigger, the bigger news is the more these companies continue to uh, announce. Hiring freezes, which turn into layoffs. Right. You get 12 to 18 months of layoffs happening. People are going to say, well, gee, I'm short on money, but I've got $200,000 of capital equity. More people start coming on the market to sell their home to get that equity instead of taking out a refi. Because if they can't refi, if they got laid off, they're going to have to go sell that house. More inventory, more options. You'll start to see some of these prices. I would go have home equity line first. but Yeah, but if you don't have a job. Potentially, but if right? equity is there. Listen, there, there's so many companies that are getting ahead of what's coming by Uber, hiring freeze. Yeah. Uh, a lot of companies, there's, I don't know, 13, Inman just reported, I'll run down the list for you real quick, of all the companies so in real times. estate that see what's coming. Better, Blend, Doma, Guaranteed Rate, Homey, Keller Mortgage, Knock, Loan Depot, Mr. Cooper, Penny Mac, Redfin, Rex Real Estate, they shut their doors. Rocket, Side, Tomo, Wells Fargo, all just announced layoffs. They're all in the real estate industry. They all see what's coming. Yeah, A market that won't look like yesterday is coming tomorrow. So this tappable equity, people are going to, it's not going to be in two years, you know, 18 months, whatever the worst of this recession hits, it's not going to be 2x. 2006. It's not going to be $11 trillion. People are going to go eat into that. Oh, for sure. And then if prices come down, that $11 trillion nat- naturally goes down as well. What, do you, Nicole, your take, you're an agent. Yes. How would you position yourself to educate renters and or homeowners about all the equity sitting in their home right now? Well, are you t- like for like for them to list? We're talking about listing? 
just so that they have the information, so they're armed with the information. Well, whether that I mean, means I think, the right decision yeah. is listing, well, yeah. whether that means the right decision in your life is buying right now, so you can start sure. building equity. Well, I think everyone, and again, I know that this is like being a little, like, I'm again, I'm being a little bit of a squirrel again here, but I mean, again, I'm listing appointments all the time. I mean, I'm not always talking people into selling. I mean, can they can they pull their cash out from when they sell? Of course, but in a lot of situations, it almost makes sense for them to pull their cash out as a refi and, and obviously save the house and keep what they're what where they currently are because I can't even get them into a house that would be like equivalent to where they're at it's right now. It's a tough time to refi at five it, and a half. 6%. Well, but again, some people already have, have already taken out a home equity line yeah. and they've already spent it down. And it's do I re, do I do I spend the money again or do do I now sell? Yeah. But again, for renters, one hundred percent. I mean, now it, is the time to buy. I'll be honest, there are a lot of renters out there that do want to buy. It's just still the, the ability to actually secure. The a sooner property. you buy as a renter, the sooner you start 100%. building up this equity. If it's the right time in your life, I yeah. pull the trigger regardless of the market. <laughs> you can't time the market, but you got to get in it. You got to get some in point. it. There's really only one good thing to um, tap into your equity for. Do you know what that is? Uh oh. We buy another house. Exactly. More yeah. real estate. I mean, if you're buying a boat or. No, you know, it would never be to buy a boat. Or something, th those are. Those are not good investments. Yes. Buy more real estate by Buy tapping into your equity. Yes. Rental real we'll estate. Well, have your house start working for you. Not many That's people right. are letting their houses work for them. Hey, guys. Appreciate you checking out this episode of The Real Word. If you want the full episode, go over to the Broke Agent YouTube. That's where we're hosting the full podcast. If you want to continue to see the segments broken out and the short clips, stay right here on The Real Word YouTube.